My name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to learn how to how to solve algebra word problems. Today we'll begin our lesson with problem number forty-seven. As you can see, the problem is already on the blackboard. Let's take a look at it. We are being told that a car is going k kilometers in h hour. A car managed to go k kilometer distance of k kilometers in h hours. The question simply is, what does it translate into speed expressed in terms of meters meters per second? What is the speed in meters per second? In other words, in other words, we are simply being asked to convert the speed that is expressed in terms of kilometers per hour into meters per second. Now, for those of you who have been watching these videos, these videos in, in its proper sequence, you would know that yesterday we saw a very similar problem, problem number 44, which was a very similar problem, except there we, we, we translated the speed that was expressed in terms of miles per hour into feet per second. Converting the speed from miles per hour to speed or to feet per second is a little bit more involved, it requires a little bit more arithmetic. This process that we are about to uh, do, the, the process that we are about to embark on, uh, uh, is, is a very simple process because metric system is, uh, is very elegant because everything is a multiple of 10. It won't take too much work. Let's see what we can do. A kilometers in h hours. So we know that we are taking h hours, h hours, o, k, kilometers. Now don't worry about the fact that I'm very sloppy with my notation. Sometimes I use a small h, sometimes I use a large h. Don't make a fuss about it. Before we do anything else, before we do anything else, let's convert these units into the units that we need. We don't want hours, we want seconds, we don't want kilometers, we want meters. So let's convert them. One hour we know has one hour we know has 3600 seconds. So 3600 times h. This is how many seconds we have. 4 k kilometers which is simply 1000 times k meters. That's it, we're done. If you're taking this many seconds for this many meters, for example, if we are taking two seconds for this distance, if we can go this much distance in two seconds, how far can we go in one second? Half the distance. If we're taking 10 seconds for this much distance, how far can we go in one second? This amount divided by 10, a tenth of this amount. Therefore, in one second, in one second, we're going to go this amount divided by this amount, which is one second for 1000 times k over that's my K. The handwriting is getting more and more sloppy. Sloppier and sloppier. 3600 times H. That's it, we are done. We are done. That's how simple it is. Simply two step process. Divide top and bottom by 100, the two zeros drop out. Divide top and bottom by 2, 10 becomes 5, and 36 is going to become 18. So final answer is 5 over 18. 5 over 18 and we have a k here so it's 5k over 18h feet per second. That's all there is. The last thing we need to do is to make sure our answer is correct. We need to verify it. We verify our answer always by converting this algebraic problem that is given to us into a simple arithmetic problem. And how do we do that? How do we go about doing that? By simply plugging in numbers for the variables. Plug in numbers for the variables, convert this into an arithmetic problem, solve the problem arithmetically and make sure that the answers that we get arithmetically is the same answer that we're going to get, that, that we have gotten, that we have gotten algebraically. Let's do that, shall we? Make up some number, any number that you like, any number that you like, just plug in something. I'm going to go, how far do you want to go? How fast do you want to go? Tell me the speed. How about we go, we go 300 kilometers in three hours. Okay, that sounds reasonable. 300 kilometers in three hours. If you're going 300 kilometers in three hours, you're going 100 kilometers, 100 kilometers in one hour. In other words, 3,600 seconds for 100 times a thousand times a thousand meters. So in one second, we're going to go this amount divided by three thousand the 3600. So in one second we are going to go 100 times a thousand over. Okay, let's see what we can do. We're going to keep it very simple. 
we're going to keep it very simple. We have a 5 and an 18. Do you see any 5 here? But well, we get, we'll get to that in a second. Let's first, I see two zeros and I see two zeros on the top. Let's divide top and bottom by 100. If we divide top and bottom by 100, this two zero goes away and this two zero goes away. I have a 5 here. We have a 10 here. Let's divide top and bottom by 2. And as soon as we divide top and bottom by 2, we'll end up with 5 over 18. 5 over 18. So we have our 5 over 18. This 100 is what the problem is. This 100 better be the ratio of k over h, which, is three, which it is. k is 300 divided by h. k over h right here. k over h based on the value that we plugged in. 300 divided by 3, which is going to be 100, which is right here, times 5. So that's your, that's, your, that's your k over h, which is 100, and 5 on the top, and 18 on the bottom. It matches. It, I, I shouldn't put a check mark there. We're not checking, checking an arithmetic word. We were checking our algebraic word. It, 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 it checks out. It's the correct answer. That answer is correct. 5k over 18h feet per second. Let's do one more, shall we? Okay. This time I'm going to give you a very different problem because the creative juices are flowing right now and when we are in a creative mood well, we become creative so guess what new problem problem number 48 and this time damn it we're not going to use a car we're going to go by a train okay that's what happens when creative juices are flowing a train travels a distance of a distance of 360 kilometers, so instead of k kilometers, instead of k kilometers, we have 360 kilometers in h hours. So h is not given to us. The question simply is, what does it translate into feet per second? Well, that's very simple. Since we have already done the work here, all we have to do is replace this k by 360. Replace this k by 360, and that's our answer. But of course, we would not, we would not have had it. We would not, would, we would not have had this work in front of us had we not done this problem first. In the real exam, of course, you're not going to do this first. You're going to have to do something like this from scratch. So first, we're going to write down our answer, and then we're going to do the work from scratch and see what happens. Okay? So let's first write down the answer. The answer is very simple. It's five, five k, which is right here. This is how many kilometers we are going. Three hundred and sixty over eighteen. H. And what's going to happen is that this 18 is going to cancel out with 36, so we get 2, so it's 20 times 5, which is 100, which is 100 over H. That's, that's, we better get that answer. All we did is, all we did is, we went to this answer 5 times K, and we replaced the K by 360. And then 360 divided by 18 is 25 times 20 is 100 on the top. And at the bottom, we still have the H here. In the bottom, we still have this H. So it translates to 100 over H. Let's see if we can get that by doing our work. So, we, so now we are taking H hours for 360 kilometers, which means it's going to be 1,000 times 360 meters, you see? H hours for 360 kilometers, which is same as 3,600 times H seconds for 1,000 times 360 meters. So in one second, we're going to go, I'm going to erase all of this thing, we're going to do the calculation, and we better get 100 over H. So all of this is going to be gone. Ah, but we have no H here. So in one second, we are going to go 1,000 times 360 over 3,600, which I'm going to write, which I'm going to write as 360 times 10 times H. There we go. As you can see, it's going to be 100 over H because this 360 drops out with this 360. 10 is going to drop out with this thing, and 100 over H is exactly what we found. Well, what I'm saying is that even if we didn't have this information, as you can see, the work is very simple, very straightforward work, nothing to it. I'll see you, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Bye now.